Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Vaporum. If you know the Legend of Grimrock games, you're probably going to recognize most of what this game is. It's a uh, first-person dungeon crawler. Let's see. Oh, hi, we got some settings here. So casual, easy, normal. I'm probably just going to go normal. Uh, old school mode. Nope, we don't want that. Disables manual saving, continuous. Yeah, I'm probably going to keep with movement classical i'm not entirely sure let's get let's get going so yeah this is effectively steampunk grimrock obviously with probably some twists but steam Salty steampunk grimrock sea and chilling gale at my back awakened me from a disturbed dream dream filled with familiar voices and fear for my life the bitter sense of betrayal stemming from the dream was interrupted by a sudden sound. In the distance, a monumental metallic monster as if grown into the rocks loomed over the sky. Despite the fear this colossus exuded, I was attracted to it somehow. With nothing to lose, I went after the light. Thorough examination brought nothing. No mechanism to open the door, and no way to get inside. I resigned and sat down to plunge into my thoughts. Then I realized I had no memory of anything before I found myself on the rock. But I felt a strong connection to the giant in front of me. And at that exact moment, a sound echoed through the air. Invading my body as if identifying me. braced myself and entered. All right. I really like the uh the art style for that 2D cutscene. I uh, I'm going to say it's almost a shame this whole thing is is 3D and fairly realistic cuz that was a neat style. Obviously it probably would have taken too much time. Okay, WSD to move around. Q and E to turn. Well, I'm inside now, but I'm not sure that's a good thing. I wonder if this would be easier if I used a controller. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I've never been good at uh, first-person dungeon crawling. The Q and E specifically to rotate uh, is going to throw me for a number of loops. See, do we have anything else here? A couple of crates, not too much. I do like the visual style, though. This looks really nice. Admittedly, uh, I haven't played a whole lot of the Grimrock games. I'd like to go back to them at some point. Okay, can't move that there. That's neat. Because uh, I played Legend of Grimrock 2 uh, back when it first came out, but I had a, I had a really garbage computer at the time, uh, so it didn't work so great. I'm going to go into the options. Video options. Can I turn up the gamma? There we go. I'm going to put it at, like, 1.25. It might be a little bit more washed out, but, like, currently this game is really dark, and YouTube always makes things darker. Oh, you know what? I'm going to see if I can get rid of the film grain, too. I, w I want a little bit of, okay, filmic noise. I don't know if it's going to help or hurt. Oh, yeah, that's that's much better. Mostly? Mostly. I, I just, I want that clarity, because... Filmic noise usually turns into utter garbage when it comes to going up on YouTube. Uh, oh. Wait, can I go over that? There's like a... We're looking for... For a... Oh, yeah. A valve. And that just makes me sad. Work, working rig. Wear working exo rig beyond this point at all times. Failure to do so may endanger the lives of others and your own. Saving progress. We can quick save. Okay. Let's see, anything to loot. 
Doesn't look like it. Maybe I have to get in one of the exopods? That doesn't look like it. Okay. Maybe I have to, uh... Hmm. Feels like I'm missing something. Okay, exo rigs. You can now choose to equip one of three available exo rigs from the containers. Each has a definitive strength over the others in a certain area. Beware, the choice is uh, is permanent. So heavy rig, gaining a permanent toughness bonus. You have a chance to reflect on an incoming attack to the attacker, taking no damage to yourself. This chance is doubled when below a threshold of integrity. So extra toughness, extra reflect chance, integrity. Okay. Combat rig. Permanent combat bonus. Also deal bonus damage with every third successful weapon attack. And the last one is Thalma rig. Gain a permanent tech bonus. Also gain energy regen below a certain threshold of energy. I'm going to go Thalma. I, I don't generally mess with magic, but if we're lucky we can get like healing spells maybe? Uh, I'm, I'm just hoping, because the energy regen, when below a certain threshold of energy, uh, that might be really helpful. Or it might be a complete waste and the whole magic system is going to be kind of boring. I don't know. Um, but it looks like this is kind of Grimrock, but you only play as one guy. Uh, which is actually something I'm really down for, because I never really enjoyed... This feels familiar. I don't know why, but it feels like it's a part of me. wonder if the door lets me through now. Okay, so C to get our inventory. This is where you store your items, also equip them in your hands, armor slots and gadget slots. Press C to access your inventory, left, mumper, uh, light, uh, left mouse button to pick up an item, right mouse button to automatically move it to and from your inventory. Okay, wait. There's something about space. Well, too late now. Probably not going to matter too much. So we're probably going to have secrets to, to contend with here. Like, secret passages and stuff. Now, it doesn't look like it can destroy that yet. T is probably like a health pack. I don't know. No, these are all locked. Except for this one. Okay, so we get a crow. We get a crowbar. Okay, weapons. You can use weapons to deal direct damage to enemies or destructible objects to those barrels. You can have up to two weapon sets and switch between them by this using Z. Come in handy. And there's writing on it. Happy anniversary, Gordon. Hmm. Who's Gordon? Funny. Okay, so we also get ammunition. Okay. So there are firearms. That are going to use ammo. I guess that's pretty par for the course. As far as I've experienced. With this game. Now if I pull out the map. Okay, cool. So we can get around here. I'm not sure if I can get back. Auto map. Your rig provides with a map that automatically explores. Okay, so just pull it up with tab. Or M. Or... Be nice if we could actually pull up the uh, the map in the top right corner. Okay. So the interesting thing is this is this is Grimrock style combat. Probably not only Grimrock, but the trick is you can actually you can actually cheese enemies. By, by moving. Uh, well, that so unlike, unpleasant. unlike most dungeon crawlers, which put you into a, a turn-based fight, this game and Grimrock and many other games of its style actually have kind of an active. Actually, have like an active component to the combat, so you can out, uh, you can maneuver past. Uh, you know your enemy's attacks and stuff like that, which is neat. I'm never really sure, uh, here, I'm gonna try switching the, the movement to continuous. Oh, jeez. I don't know if that, that's better, the, the head bob. I don't mind it for the back and forth, but the head bob is really bizarre feeling. Anything in here? Nope. Attention. Pay attention when working near ground shafts and holes. Well, I assume if I fall in there, we're going to have a, uh... A fun time. I guess the door open. It's got to be a way to move this grating. Oh, I see. I I push it this way. Never mind. We don't get around the grating. We just move around it. 
it does feel like this game might be a little bit easier to handle than Grimrock. Uh, part of the part of the problem I had with Grimrock, very specifically, was the the combat was a a very distinct. Like you had four party members, which the idea the idea of which is a really cool thing. The execution got really awkward because of the real time combat. This feels a little bit better, so I get a pistol. Firearms. Ranged weapons are powerful and allow you to attack from a safe distance. However, they do require ammunition to fire. You only need to have the ammunition in your inventory. You don't need to reload weapons manually. Now we're talking. Dual wielding. Equipping a weapon in each hand is considered dual wielding. While dual wielding, your likeliness to hit enemies is considerably lower, but you can amend this handicap by investing circuit points into the dual wielding circuit. Okay, so there's a talent tree that we can mess around with. Hopefully we get spells at some point. Doesn't look like we've got much. We got notes, we got stats. I'm level one. Okay, so there are RPG mechanics. Does that just close the door? That just closes the door. That's not really that's not really what we're about. I wish I could actually like bung open some of these lockers. I I can't believe this character is as um this character is polite as he is. It's if this were me and if I was in a in a creepy tower with like robot a robot that's already tried to hurt me. I would probably just immediately start breaking locks off of everything with my crowbar. Crowbar, I mean. Let's take it, let's read the note. Okay, whiny bench, or whiny bench? Uh, they sent me a new lad, name's Ben Kinley. Not sure why, but he seems to crave the hard work here. Don't know what's so lovely about hauling crates all day long, but he's a good kid. Maybe he wants to impress the big shots from upstairs to get a warm place on the fueling unit. Or something. Ha. Too bad no admin ever comes down here to see us. This dump. This is the dump no one cares about. Okay, what else have we got here? Nope. Glad none of these are lootable or explodable. I'm going to blow something up in my in my face. Because I accidentally attack it while trying to loot it. Like, that is a guarantee. Something is going to... Something is going to go bang. And it's probably going to kill me. Okay, Arx Vaporum. Hmm. A phono diary. Maybe with these, I'll learn more about this place. My Marcus was chosen by the Bureau to lead the Ox Vaporum, which is under construction out there on the high seas right now. We decided to accept the offer to live there and lead the research. It's a test our marriage must undergo. I stood by my loving husband through his years in the military, and I'm ready to support him now. It won't be easy. I'll be in charge of a fair amount of research in the tower, but my family means everything to me. Thanks to this commission, the Bureau will provide us with everything for a happy life somewhere on an island of our own. One day. I like the fact that this is voice acted. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of an interruption. Uh, compared to Grimrock, which pretty much had nothing. Uh, but the attempt at... The attempt? The, the inclusion of an actual story here is probably going to make this game a lot more interesting for me, at least. Grimrock... I'm sure Grimrock had a proper story. Don't get me wrong. Because Grimrock was awesome. Like, it was a really well handled game. But... It was kind of... Empty? Maybe? No, it was very full of stuff. There, there was a mystery there. It was cool. The idea of it all. But I think the execution... It just lost me somewhere along the way. Also, the, just generally the difficulty. It's hard to... Oh, we've healed a little bit. I'm not sure how or why. Alright, whatever. Um, but I, I like... I guess I really like games that tell their stories with audio logs. I need a key. I have a key. It... I guess I actually have to pull it out of my inventory. You useless creature. Okay, so... Oh, surprising find. Whoa, guess what I found in the crates. Okay, whoa, guess what I found in the crates that came in yesterday. Guns! Lots of them! Couldn't help myself and took one. Just in case. Like, might be some sort of meltdown. You never know. This now looks more likely, as I heard some of the experiments went a bit wonky up there in the labs. God knows what they're cooking up. But why the hell do they need guns? And so many of them. Something for you. Morning, Kinley. Here's something to get into the new crates with. Need them babies open by evening. Don't do anything stupid with it, though. Okay, yeah, so we got a whole bunch of notes here. This might hurt. 
Okay, so we do have traps to kind of worry about, but that that's okay. And that solves the problem? No, that just solves that problem. I was kind of hoping to turn them all off. Oh, we get a goodie bag, whatever it is. It's a repair kit. Restores integrity over time. So is that... Yeah, okay. So we have energy still... I gotcha. Okay, so integrity. This is the integrity, the red bar, of your exo rig, protecting you from lethal hazards and enemy attacks. If it drops to zero, you will die. You can restore your integrity by using repair kits with R. Okay, I'm just going to be fighting a bunch of these steam bots today, aren't I? They can fly. Problem is, I don't entirely know what their pattern is. Are you just going to strafe back and forth? Because if he strafes back and forth, that makes this easier. He's not going to. Come on, keep following me. I really like the steampunk style. I'm not... 100% um, sure if I am like fully down with the, the game's art style yet, but I think maybe it's kind of one of those brick. Simple brick you can use to put weight on pressure plates or for throwing. Oh, it's it's the Grimrock rocks. I gotcha. I I prefer... I, I, I will always say this. And it, oh. I will always say this, but I am like a huge proponent of like, more hand-painted or illustrated styles. I mean, it comes from me being an artist uh, that, like, generally uses those styles to begin with. Oh, jeez, my frame rate is actually, like, really bad. You guys probably aren't even seeing it that bad, but... Let's... Yep. Might have just nuked the game. Nope, didn't nu nuke the game. Okay, so we were on... High before. Maybe if I just take off all of the, uh... Side effects... See, see if this helps. I was wondering why the game felt a little bit sluggish. It's hard to notice because of the ow. Thing is a bit quick. Less, less dangerous though. Okay, that's good. And it looks like you can more or less go toe to toe with these guys if you really want to. Let's just push this this way. Okay. Yeah, I might turn up some of my abilities. Might get cornered here. Okay, there's there's the last one. Owie. Wow. Okay. I might have to turn off those screen flashes. They're just... They're not doing it for me. They're a bit rough. Okay. Well, we're good to go now, and it looks like the frame rate is much better. Yes, yeah, so that's that's way too heavy. I'm really hoping we get the ability to uh, to cast like a, a healing spell. I mean, obviously, Thaum thaumaturgy is not exactly magic, but uh, it would be cool if I could actually, you know, get my hands on like a a spell of some variety that restores um, integrity. Secret found. It was not exactly a hard hard secret to find. Okay, so this is Ben Kinley, out of sight. Today I managed to get out for a bit to fetch the new cargo from the ship. Seems like the supplies are getting thinner by the month. Anyway, it was a long, hard shift. I don't mind that much, though, as long as I get to breathe the fresh air. And you know what's best down here? I'm out of sight of the office. Okay, so we've got Bruncraft Gauntlets. Oh! Run Croft's Crowbar Cooldown Reduction. Was this the... No, that's the regular crowbar. So there might be another one. Gives us extra integrity and resistance. And I also have a shield. Recruit buckler, block chance, block amount, integrity. Cool. No? Looks like there's a... Looks like there's a thing there, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, so we got to find that Renkrolf's crowbar. Do we go... Back. Maybe, maybe not. I'll, I'll keep going around. There is... Wait, did I break it? 
It's smoking. They both smoke, but maybe they always smoke. Let's see, do I, nope. Do I have, oh right, I can press C. So we need like a brick or something maybe? There's gotta be something here that I can use. Either that or it's a timing thing. Because if I stand on this, this starts to open. But that resets it every time. Unless... Yeah, I'm just supposed to block it with my body. Okay. I was like, I, I, I'm not sure if I want to stand in front of, like, the death trap. Okay. Yeah, I don't actually have to wait for my entire a attack animation to play before I can hit hit these guys. Uh, Fumium, and we also get another integrity kit. Cool. Nope. Let's see. Because, yeah, I can just swing. And back up. Okay, blocked. Yeah, the spider bots aren't that big of a deal. Now, this might reset. No, now that that door is open... It doesn't look like it'll ever get reset. Okay, that's handy. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying kind of before the, uh, the f small frame rate drop. Bah! What the? Are there multiple? Shit. I'm just gonna wail on spider bot. There's another spider bot there. Where did it come from? I have no idea. I'm just gonna have to wail on the spider bot before the hor horror creature comes for me. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna have to do a little dance here. We're gonna play four square with a beast, beast creature. There we go. Yeah, luckily it takes them a little while to rotate. Not so much when they sidestep. I can make this work. Yeah, when they sidestep it, it actually is a pretty quick action. Getting that timing down is hard. Ow. And there it goes. Cool. Ugh, it's these creepy little things. Bleeding effect. When suffering from deep gashes in the flesh, the target takes a small amount of damage over a short period of time, but is greatly increased damage while moving. Mechanical enemies do not bleed. Oh, that's why it was taking so much. Well, so I get a dagger and some armor. What do we got? Firm plating, recruit mantle. The apprentice outfit would be nice, but I don't have any energy to begin with. So it's kind of pointless. Uh, let's see. Do we have locker? The locker's got this. Pounding. Ever since working here at the sea level floor, I noticed this weird constant sound. It's coming from below. It sounds like pounding. Almost like a heart. Just a huge one. Is it the mining gear deep down there in the sea? At the Fumium core? And we also get a silver key and another repair kit. Well, I'm tougher. Still haven't found that crowbar, though. And I'd love to. Having a little bit of a... Uh, a uh, solid biffin stick would be nice. But I guess it probably wouldn't make that much of a difference. Uh, actually, I should probably take a look at this. 7 damage, 6 damage. 200% to destructibles, 35% to mechanical enemies. Uh, can I compare them? 0.2, tile range, cooldown. Wish I could use this shield on both sets. Kind of odd that I can't. Because the other option is, I could actually switch to the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's use the rifle. Oh, we've got another audio log. I didn't even notice. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. Studying at the Supreme Bureau University comes with prestige, sure, but now... I can start my career. Finally. As one of the proud draftsmen for the head architect of the Bureau, the Arx Vaporum is partly my doing. The tower is a testament to our technological advances. 
The Arx is going to bring about a historical breakthrough once we decipher the substance on the seabed, the marvelous Fumium. And we can show the world what it can do. We have such great expectations. Okay. I feel like I'm coming up on some... Why did I do that? It's X? Is it X to switch? Z to switch. Okay, there we go. Nothing on that. So everything kind of smokes when I take a swing at it. Oh. There we go. Let's see. There's another one. Ow. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just gonna have to wail on it with the crossbow. Now I'm stuck in. That really hurts. It's kind of rough. Can I get that ability? I would love it. Well, I did say there would be a boss coming up. And now I'm just more or less wailing on it because I didn't have a uh, didn't have a choice. Something might be useful. Basic discharger. Unleash an electro. Electrical discharge, causing area damage around you and applying shock to enemies hit. 20 damage, shock duration, minus 50% total damage. Oh! Reduces their damage output. Okay. Yeah, we're going to take that. How do I use it? One. Apart from weapons, you also find various thaumaturgical gadgets you can use in combat to outsmart enemies. Bluff your, uh, buff yourself up to temporarily become stronger. Okay, they will drain your energy. Energy slowly replenishes on its own, but you'll need to increase the maximum amount of the regenerate if you want to use them more often. All right. And Yeah. It closed on me. That was unfortunate. Yeah, if I had if I had been paying attention, if I had noticed it, we would have been okay. Okay, so we get a get another heal. Anything here? Nothing. So this gets me out of here. Okay, I'm gonna just keep saving. I've taken this thing some damage. From the spider fits into my rig. Let's see how they like being shocked. All right, level up, which gets me my HP back. Cool. Instructions: Fumium. As you destroy enemies, your rig will gain Fumium. After acquiring enough Fumium, it will gain a level. Uh, I, I guess it's Fumium, increasing the overall power. You will. Also gain circuit points, which you can use to unlock more, uh, unlock or improve circuits. Circuits improve your power in the given area. At higher ranks, you will unlock modules, which further increase your power in various ways. You will come across Fumium capacitors, which grant you Fumium permanently when you consume them. All right. Well, we got blunt weapons, blade weapons, handguns, rifles, dual wielding armor. Thirty percent integrity. That's pretty good, actually. Blocking. Thumb catalyzer. That's probably what we want. And fusion conversion. Yeah, let's go with the catalyzer. It increases or uh, decreases our, our cooldowns. Which is probably pretty important. Because, yeah, if I'm going to be using and abusing these, we'll need them. So, if, Okay, so that just gives me 25 EXP, effectively. We never did find that crowbar, did we? Oh, well. I'll live. All right. I have no idea what this monster I'm inside of is. Although I feel a little safer in the exo rig that I found, I have a suspicion there are a lot more surprises waiting for me. The weird blue substance I found in the capacitor seems to charge the rig and upgrade its function. But I still need more information. Maybe I'll figure out what the hell this place is about as well. Okay. Don't think I got the spider bot. Nope, I got the spider bot. Okay, cool. Yeah, so at some point I'd like to figure the rest of this out. But for now, we're okay. Does that... No, that does hit it. Okay, so it looks like uh, more or less relying on uh, spells is probably going to be a good idea. Might be a bit risky. Energy cell. Restores energy over time. Oh. 
we have notes. I miss Adam. I really miss my buddy Adam. That dude had one messed up sense of humor. Got fired over some naughty pictures or something. Now the new kid, he is he sure is one hell of a workhorse, but he seriously needs to lighten up. Have some fun, man. He just keeps to himself all the goddamn time. When he benched Chief Talier. And shock effect. When struck by an electric shock, the target's damage output is gone. Uh, notes? Okay. Greatly reduced, and they take some damage over a uh, short period of time. Enemies capable of producing such a shock are resistant to all shock effects themselves. Unfortunately, I am not covered under that umbrella. Which is unfortunate. I wish I was resistant to shock, then I could go around just zapping everything. Okay, so he has a gun. But he's not very strong. Okay. I should probably look into uh, guns at some point. Okay. Oh, better stuff. Family gun. I found a hidden corridor. A perfect place to hide my precious piercer. There's a strict ban on guns here in the arcs for us commoners. But nobody's going to take a gun off of my off of a Beretan. My dad gave it to me. And his dad gave it to him. All the way back to my great-great-granddaddy. We Beretans take care of ourselves. Only I hadn't bent the screw on the wall brace. I just hope no one notices. Okay, so we got a, a mace, bonus for mechanical, bonus for organic. Does this do bonus damage to... No, it doesn't look like it has bonus damage on either. Well, I'm assuming most enemies with electrical shocks are probably going to be... Um, are going to be mechanical in nature. So let's, let's go with the recruit brace. So... We're looking for a wall brace with a bent screw. That is going to take some time and effort to find. If we're lucky, it's back here, but my assumption is it's one of these four screws in the center and I can press it or interact with it or something. I'm just going to go back, backtrack a little bit and check. See, we, yeah, we've been back through there. Okay, so it's going to be up ahead. I'll just have to to keep checking wall braces, and we'll we'll see if we can find one with a bent screw somewhere. Oh, you mean that was it right there? That was not as obvious as I was expecting, but that's okay. So piercer, probably better than the rifle. So main thing is. It's the it's the reload time. 4.5 second cooldown, 2.25. Uh, oh, two, two ammo usage. Yeah, the, the long rifle is worse. Should probably use the gun more often. When I need to. I have yet to really need to. That shock effect is really helpful because... It's just a damage over time to, like, everything. I wonder if I can use, uh... Let's see. I wonder if, like, uh, water on the ground makes a difference. It probably doesn't. Okay, so we've got this here. Okay. There we go. That was what do we close. got in here? Rusty key, another repair kit, nothing particularly interesting or useful. Alright. And that's that's over and done with. Alright, so like this is actually this is fairly familiar, fairly easy to handle. Obviously that boss fight kind of uh kind of wrecked me in an unfriendly way. Ow? What oh you dick. Well, at least the, uh, at least the lightning does a great job of destroying my enemies for me. It's helpful. Yeah, there's, there's a dude over there. I probably should have just gone through the door. I just, I got shot and I had to, like, back off and be like, okay, hold on. There's uh, something here. Maybe there's a way to raise the water level. But yeah, I, I, this is probably a good stopping point before I get too far here. Uh, so like I was saying, I, I really wish there was... Oh, that's a that's how I can, like, pan the camera around and look at stuff. I wish uh, more of that art style from that intro cinematic had actually made it into the game. 
Uh, it'd be harder to incorporate, but you know the the just kind of muddy basic stone textures and stuff like that. Like this game is, uh, it's very drab and it's probably intentionally supposed to be so. But got taunted with that cool, coolish looking two D art in the very beginning. I'm like, no, I want more of that. Uh, but overall, this is kind of a fun experience. It reminds me a lot of of uh, Grimrock, obviously. Like you know the gameplay, the the layout, the systems, the secrets. The small amounts of like lever puzzles, so on and so forth. I'm I'm sure I've missed like a billion things already, and I'm going to miss a billion more. Um, but that's okay too. I do like the magic system in this. It feels really good, and I can't wait until I can get some more. Uh, because I believe eventually I get more spells I can pull from too. And if I'm lucky by the end of this, I can just be a spell slinging uh, tech wizard instead of instead of hitting things with a mace. Maybe we'll see. Uh, but overall, the game comes out. Is it out already? Or does it come out tomorrow? I think it comes out tomorrow on the 28th. Yeah. So it comes out tomorrow, and I think it's going to be 20 bucks. I could be wrong, but pretty much if you like Grimrock and you've been waiting for something similar, this is going to be up your alley, especially because it looks like the people that make Grimrock probably aren't going to be making another Grimrock for a little while, which is unfortunate. But, eh. I mean, they can't. They can't just be a one-trick pony forever. Uh, and hopefully maybe they go back to it. I don't know. Uh, but so I guess with this, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape or form, leave me a like helps more than, you know, and if you want to see more, let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of on the wall about this just because of, um, I have no idea how long this is going to be. Oh, closing that door, closing that door, closing that door. Um, well, I guess I could just shoot it. It's not coming for me, but I'll probably start by just shooting the thing. Oh, and that door closes too. Yeah. Okay. We'll just, we'll just gun it down from a distance because fighting those shockers is not a fun experience. But yeah, so if you guys really want to see more of this game, uh, be sure to let me know. And if enough people really want me to keep going with this, then I absolutely will. Uh, but I guess if not, one way or another, I guess I'll see, see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.